Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7th and subject science in that chapter number 13. Chapter name is motion and a time. In that, in the part 1 we have seen up to main 2. Today we will see main 3. Answer the following questions in a one word. One mark each. Number 1. Which type of motion is of swing? Is of a swing periodic and oscillatory motion number two which type of motion is of a girl sitting in a moving merry-go-round answer is the circular motion number three which type of motion is of a fruit falling from a tree answer is translatory or a linear motion number four the constant speed of a car is a 70 km per hour what distance would it cover in 30 minutes then Answer is 35 km. Now we will see the next page. Number 5. A train covers a distance of 36 km in 40 minutes at constant speed. What is its speed? Answer is 54 km per hour. Number 6. State the name of the instrument used to measure the speed of a vehicle. Answer is speedometer. Number 7. Which special type of clock is used to measure short time interval in the running competition? Answer is the stopwatch. Now see the number 8. The speed of a vehicle A is a 15 meter per second and that of other vehicle B is a 15 kilometer per hour. Then which vehicle moves with a higher speed? Answer is vehicle A. It's in a meter and B, B is in a kilometer. So, vehicle A. Number 9. The object covers a distance of 1 kilometer in 1 minute. What is its speed in kilometer per hour? Answer is 60 kilometer per hour. Number 10. In the graph of distance time, which physical quantity is shown on y-axis? Answer is the distance. Now see the main four. Mark the following statements with a true if a true and with a wrong mark if a false in the box given against it each. One mark each. Number one. The time period of simple pendulum does not depend on its length. It's a false. Wrong. Number two. If the bob of the pendulum is relieved after taking slightly to one side or slightly more to one side, then also there is no change in its time period. Answer is the wrong. False. Now see the number 3. The basic unit of time is a hour. It's a wrong. False. Number 4. The vehicle has covered a distance of 50 km. Then in the language of physics, it is expressed as 50 km. So it's a wrong. False. Number 5. Galileo Galilei has found out the laws of the simple pendulum. It's a True, right. Number 6. The time taken by the simple pendulum to complete 20 oscillations is called its time period. It's a wrong. False. Now see the number 7. The simple pendulum of the given length takes always the same time to complete one oscillation. It's a right. Now see the ninth one. Every object moves with a constant speed. It's a wrong. Now see the 10th one. The distance between two cities is measured in kilometers. It's a true. Now see the 11th one. The time period of a given pendulum is not constant. It's a right. Now see the main 5. Answer the following questions in one sentence. One mark each. Question number 1. Which device were used by ancestors? To measure the time period, uh, to measure the time pendulum clocks, where were in a practice? Answer is shundials, water clocks, sound clocks were used by our ancestors to measure the time before pendulum clocks. Now see the next page. Question number two: What is called a simple pendulum? Answer is a system of a small massive body suspended by light. An inextensible string from a rigid fixed support and capable of oscillating in one vertical plane only is known as a simple pendulum. Question number 3. 
when is it said that one oscillation of a simple pendulum is completed answer is when bob of a pendulum moves from one extreme position a to the other position b and comes back to a it is called completion of one oscillation of a pendulum now see the number 4 Question number four: Which physical quantity is shown on x-axis in a distance time graph? Answer is: Time is shown on x-axis and a distance is shown on y-axis in a distance time graph. Question number five: Where is the well-known sundial situated in India? Answer is: The well-known sundial is situated at Jantar Mantar, Delhi. Question number six: One day means how many seconds? Answer is one day is equal to twenty-four hour. So is equal to twenty-four multiplied by three hundred and three thousand six hundred in second. So it we get eighty-six thousand four hundred second. Now see the question number seven: How many hours are there in a year? Means non-leap year. So one year is equal to three hundred and sixty-five days. Um, one upon fourth day, so is equal to one thousand four hundred and sixty-one upon four multiplied by twenty-four is equal to hour. So is equal to eight thousand seven hundred and sixty-six hours. Now see the question number eight. What is the use of odometer? Answer is odometer is used for measuring the distance covered by a vehicle. See the question number nine. What is the nature of a distance time graph for a motion of a vehicle moving at a constant speed? Answer is the straight line. Now see the question number ten. If the length of a simple pendulum is increased, then what difference would occur in its periodic time? Answer is if the length of a simple pendulum is um, increased, its periodic time increases. Question number eleven. A scooter driver moves with a speed of thirty kilometer per hour. For 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 twenty minutes, what distance might he have covered? So distance covered is equal to twenty upon sixty hour multiplied by thirty kilometer per hour. So we get ten kilometer. Now we will see the main six in the next video part three. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.